So when I'm picking out my grow lights, there's always two things that I look for. First is the light color spectrum analysis, and secondly is the PPFD image, or the photosynthetic photon flux density. Yeah. So in this video, I'm going to discuss those two things and how they affect my plants in different stages of growth and what type of plants I'm growing. Okay, so this is an image of a light spectrum analysis graph. This is actually natural daylight. On the x-axis, it's covering every color on the spectrum. And on the y-axis, it's covering the amount on that spectrum. And when it comes to buying your grow lights, I think at least in this video, we're just gonna focus on two colors and the different variables of each. And those colors are blue and red. Let's start with blue. So blue is really great for young plants or for leafy plants because blue stimulates chlorophyll absorption, which is necessary for photosynthesis. So the more blue light you can get on your leafy plants or your young plants, the better they're gonna grow, the better off they're gonna be. So if you're here picking lights, for example, um, if you're trying to sprout, if you're growing a sprout garden, which I'm about to do soon, make sure you subscribe for that, then blue light's probably gonna be more important than any other color of light on the spectrum. For me, in my leafy green garden, where I have my kale and my cabbage and my romaine and um, spinach and all that good stuff, I focused on buying lights that were high in the blue light on the spectrum. That's not to say red light is not crucially important as well. So red light regulates the growth. It also prolongs the flowering stage, which will increase your yield overall. So red light is really crucial to get those big plants, which everyone wants. That's why you're watching this video, right? You want the best lights for your plants so your plants grow big and you get the best yield, best bang for your buck. Make sure you have a lot of red as well. So what we've covered so far are visible colors on the spectrum. Now I wanna talk about, on each side, colors that we can't see with the human eye but are still important to the growth of the plant. On the blue side, or I guess a little further than blue, would be violet. So let's talk about UV, or ultraviolet. So UV light is actually really crucial because it increases the terpenes in your plant. What this does is it makes them smell better, it makes them taste better, and why wouldn't you want your plants to taste better, to look better, and to smell better? So UV light, although we can't see it, is actually very important for our plants. Now, all the way on the other side is far red light. What far red light has been proven to do is increase the leaf size of your plant. So if you increase the leaf size, obviously that's sort of a bigger solar panel for your plant. It's gonna grow bigger. So once again, if you're growing leafy greens, why not dump that deep red light in there? And once again, these are lights you can't see. So when you look at your actual light, when it's on, you're gonna notice that these are these look either really dim or you can't see them at all. And that's totally fine. Your light's working just fine. That's just because this is not visible by the human eye. These are light spec these are these are parts of the light spectrum that we can't see, but they still help the plants. Isn't that wild? Maybe that'll better help you understand why I always buy full spectrum lights. Blue light is great for young plants. Blue light is also great for leafy plants. Red light sustains that growth, and red light is really important for your vegetation and your fruiting. So one really complements the other. We've covered UV light and we've covered infrared or deep red light on the other side. So full spectrum lights have all of this in there. That's why they're called full spectrum lights. And honestly, that's what I'm always gonna recommend buying just because you never know what you're gonna do in a garden and it's easier just to have everything covered. But it's still very important to look at that color analysis graph. Make sure that you know exactly what you're getting out of each light just because it says full spectrum does not mean it's going to deliver the entire spectrum evenly you need to definitely check that and make sure that it's what you need it to be for your plants and your growth cycle so that takes me to the ppfd graph you usually see a few of them with different distances that show you the ppfd written on the, on, a, on a bunch of squares now what this represents is the photosynthetic photon flux density in english it's basically the power PPFD measures from the source, from the plant. So as you can see in these images, it says you know 12 inches, 18 inches, and so on. Um, that's measuring the intensity of the light from the plant, the photon density. So another thing when buying lights is what type of lights you're gonna need. Are you gonna need a square light that can shine and cover an area of about two to three square feet? Or are you gonna want a light strip for your tower garden, something that can be vertical or maybe an array of lights that cover a huge area. 
Um, it's obviously it's really important to know exactly what you're lighting up and then how many square feet your light can cover and then appropriately build out that grid if you're trying to do a large area. If you're trying to just do something small and you're just looking for a few lights for your house garden, then definitely just check in the description box. I put a bunch of lights that I really like that I think are great deals that I'm sure will do really, really well for your garden. And just so you know, I would never link anything down below uh, if I didn't own it and use it already and believe in it and know it was a great product. So everything that's linked up to my Amazon affiliate store is something that I use here in the RV. All right, well, thank you so much for watching another video. I will see you guys on Wednesday.